Hi guys, Mike here and this is the video review for the Asus G75. This is a very big gaming laptop, it's part of the Republic of Gamers Asus line and it's the successor for the Asus G74. It uh, brings uh, Intel Ivy Bridge hardware, it brings an NVIDIA uh, GTX 670M graphics. So overall it's very very powerful, it can uh, deal with anything you are going to throw at it and even the latest games played on high details in native full HD resolution. More about this and more about what this laptop is capable of you will find from the video review that's gonna start in just a second. Alright, so we're having a look at the G75, the Asus G75. As you can see, it's a monster. It's a big 17.3 inch laptop. It weighs about 4.3 kilos and it's also quite thick, but it's actually slimmer and thinner than the previous generation, the G74. It's still not something you can easily carry around. It's a little bit heavy and uh, having a bit of a difficulty lifting it over. Uh, now, having a look at the design, the exterior is covered in the same rubbery plastic that uh, was used before. It looks very good, it feels good, it has a very nice grip. Still, it will catch smudges, it will catch fingerprints and it will be quite difficult to, to clean once those are in place. But, hey, that's something you're going to have to deal with. Now, having a look at the bottom, you're going to notice a couple of things. There are a couple of panels here that will allow you to get quick access to the hardware. Uh, this panel allows you to get quick access to one of the cooling vents. And you also have a subwoofer because this one now gets 2.1 sound system with a subwoofer and some tweeters. You also have a massive battery here and it's replaceable. It's a uh, 8 cell, uh, 5200 milliamps hour, uh, 74 watt hour battery. It's uh, not uh, very big but it should be enough to allow your laptop at least some, uh, some battery life. Still, that's not really what you will be able to get on devices like this. And having a quick look at the back, you're going to notice that it was slightly redesigned. It still looks aggressive, it still looks very good, but uh, it's a little bit uh, redesigned over the previous generation. Now all the hot air is going to be uh, coming out from here, while the... while the... Uh, the cold air should be probably uh, sucked from the front based, what, uh, based on what I know. Now besides the design changes there are also some hardware, uh, hardware changes as well but uh, we're going to have a look at the uh, interior, at the hardware in a different clip. Right now we're also going to have a look at the sides and uh, this is how this device looks. You can see that it's it's a little bit aggressive in terms of design. It looks very good though. And here are the ports that you're getting here. On this part you have two USB 3.0 ports, what looks like a display port, HDMI, la uh, LAN adapter, Ethernet, VGA output and the DC in. And on the front there's actually nothing except for this status LEDs. But like you saw probably, I'm having a hard time actually maneuvering this around because it's actually very heavy. On this other side you have the headphone, microphone, SD card reader, you have the optical unit which in our case it's a Blu-ray burner and on this part you also have another two USB 3.0. So four USB 3.0 slots on this one. Now also having a look at the top you're going to notice the ASUS ROG logo here on the hood and you're also going to notice that the screen's hinges have been redesigned, they are a little bit smaller now but overall the whole thing looks decent of course the screen doesn't bend that much on the back only about that much but uh, that's still alright considering that this device does not offer glossy displays. It only has non-glare display options, which is something very good. Now, having a look at the interior, going to notice the keyboard. It's 
very uh, nicely separated here you have the standard keyboard the numeric pad you have the arrows uh, emphasized over here full size arrow keys and slightly separated from the others the area around the keyboard is made from this aluminum on top you have some very nice looking plastic solid plastic or aluminum as well I'm not really sure well this one is made from this rough plastic once again it looks good it feels nice but uh, it will get uh, dirty in time it will be difficult to clean um, also have the trackpad over here but we're going to talk about it a little bit later now let's go and have let's go and have a look at the screen it's a non-glossy non display there will be a bunch of different displays to choose between this is the top uh, option which uh, comes in full HD resolution and it's 3D ready of course this one is also delivered with 3D Nvidia 3D glasses and uh, it should be quite uh, quite good also have the ASUS logo a camera here on top and having a more thorough look at that keyboard here it is it's backlit one thing uh, that uh, is changed from the previous generation the keyboard is backlit there are three different levels of illumination and uh, it's actually quite comfortable except for the space I don't really like the space uh, might be an issue with this test unit but it's noisy and it's not very accurate if you're going to press it here on the side it's not it's not going to uh, register the command in most uh, in most cases once again this might be an issue with my unit here overall the keyboard is sturdy it doesn't flex it has decent uh, feedback although the keys are a little bit wobbly here and I, ca I can say that uh, the keyboard is not as good as it was on the G74 at least that's how I feel about it as for the trackpad it's massive you can see it here it has this excellent click buttons uh, if uh, I was to choose the perfect click buttons probably those will be uh, those would be the ones it uh, supports multi-touch gestures and it's working very very nice as well now we're going to open the device going to have a look at that illuminated keyboard and uh, the screen as well the keyboard is of course illuminated like I said and there are three different levels of illumination this is the highest level and uh, you're noticing that there is some back uh, uh, bleeding fr from uh, beneath uh, this uh, this keyboard but uh, overall I would say that it's uh, something most of you guys would appreciate especially since uh, it's an upgrade from the previous generation laptop uh, that didn't offer such a feature so it's a completely backlit keyboard and it, uh, it glows in white you can't really adjust that but overall something very very nice now having a quick look at the screen let me adjust the camera here and you'll notice that this is a TN panel let me go ahead and adjust the screen brightness this is the highest brightness level and you can see that the colors are actually looking very very good and overall the screen is very nice of course being a TN panel it means that viewing angles vertical viewing angles might get a little bit poorer if you're going to lean the screen on the back however side viewing angles are actually decently good on both of these sides even on this black image and right now if I am going to switch to a lighter image and let me adjust the screen brightness so you can actually see something on this uh, on the screen you're going to notice that uh, on a brighter image you don't really have this viewing angle issues they're only visible on that darker background image and of course uh, this uh, version on our uh, our test unit uh, is the 120 hertz uh, display so that means it's 3d ready and in the package you're going to get a pair of these which is Nvidia's latest 3D glasses and uh, you will be able to use this for games, for movies and for all kinds of, uh, of 3D content. Now I'm going to go ahead and power this device and will tell you a couple of things about the hardware and you'll see how fast uh, it's, uh, it's able to boot. 
Republic of Gamers logo there. This is uh, powered by a Core i7 3730M uh, QM processor, so it's a quad core processor and it has uh, SSD storage plus uh, 750, 750 gigabyte hard drive storage. So it has hybrid storage, it actually has two drives and you can use them, uh, one of them to store your programs and your games and your operating system and one, the other one for all the other things. So you saw that this allows it to boot very very fast and probably less than 30 seconds which is actually something most other devices do not offer. It, all, it will also go in sleep mode very very fast in a couple of seconds will resume uh, just as fast as well. Uh, besides those, in terms of hardware, let's see what we're having here. Actually, I know what we're having, but I'm going to show it to you, show it to you guys as well. Okay, seems that I might have to adjust the illumination, so you'll be able to see anything in here. Okay, so it is an Intel Core uh, i7 3620QM processor, clocked at 2.6 gigahertz, 16 gigabyte of RAM. 64-bit operating system and in terms of hard of uh, graphics you have the NVIDIA GTX 670M so this is the most powerful version of this uh, laptop it's uh, going to be quite expensive but it's also going to be very very fast now I'm not going to show you that many things about hardware about the performances just at the Windows rating it's 7.4 which is actually very very good for a device like this and uh, I have a bunch of benchmarks should be saved around here I'm just going to spoiler some of them so it has a 964x uh, mark in 3d mark 11 which is very very good as for PC mark 07 it's it managed to score more than 5,000 points which is once again very good as well but more details about uh, hardware performances and uh, the way it, um, it manages to handle video and games will be available in, the, in this next, uh, next clip it's uh, available in the pop-up right now you can see it on the screen and there's also a link in the description below that will take you directly to that particular part of the device as for noise and heating, this device actually doesn't hit that much. It hits a little bit when playing games. It will this part over here will get warm. The bottom stays decently cool though, and overall the internals do not get uh, very hot. And you will be able to find in a written review some temperatures, some details about the temperatures uh, that uh, you will get when dealing with games and uh, HD uh, movie content. Um, of course the noise is present because there are two coolers on this device, one on each side beneath, uh, beneath the laptop and uh, you will hear a slight roaring, you can hear it right now. It will get a little bit stronger when playing games but overall the speakers are able to cover all this background noise without a problem. And for that let me go ahead on YouTube and play a couple of tracks so you can hear the speakers in action. First of all, let's try to play a bass test song. And this one has a subwoofer, there is a subwoofer beneath the beneath the, this uh, arrow keys uh, on the bottom and there are also two tweeters on the back and they're directing the sound towards uh, the, the table so then it bounces back to the user. So let's go ahead and hear this bus test. Okay, so that was probably not the best test. Let's try this one. Of course, my microphone isn't really that good. But uh, there is, there are some low frequency sounds coming from this uh, this part of the laptop. With uh, such types of music, it will also vibrate a little bit, but it's overall decent. And uh, now that we can also try something else, for instance, that bunny 
trailer. Let's see how that is going to to play here. The speakers, they're not incredibly loud, but uh, the quality is actually very good, I'd say. Okay, so that was all for the speakers, I would say they're good, they're not impressive, I think that the, the N series actually has better speakers because it comes with that external subwoofer, but for an all-in-one all uh, solution it's actually decent. Should also tell you a couple of things about battery life, although this is not really a device you're going to carry around when traveling. Still, there is a 74 watt hour battery uh, inside uh, beneath uh, this uh, laptop and uh, that will be enough for about two hours, two hours and a half of daily use as long as you don't push it that high, as, as long as you don't uh, use the screen at the uh, highest brightness. Uh, of course for gaming you're going to get about an hour of, of life and if you want to use it for just for reading some books or for writing some texts you probably will be able to push it above three hours but on average two, two and a half hours that's what you can expect to get from this uh, ASUS G75 in terms of battery life. I should also mention that uh, it takes about three hours uh, to fully charge the battery once uh, it's uh, depleted and uh, you're going to need to use this and this is the power brick and you can see that it's enormous it's a very very big power brick actually one of the biggest I've ever seen comparing it to the to the screen and comparing it to my hand you can see that I can barely grab it with my hand it's heavy about one kilo and if you're traveling going to have to carry this around it will get hot so just have to be careful uh, to have a place to, to put it, probably on your floor or something like this. As for the prices, the base version of the ASUS G75V uh, will go for about $1500 and for that you're going to get a, a Core i7 quad-core processor, 750GB hard drive and the Windows 7 Home Premium. And uh, that's also for the standard screen, it's the 1600 by 900 uh, uh, screen without uh, the 3D ability. If you want the top configuration, the one that we that we're testing here, which uh, includes uh, 16 gigabyte of RAM, includes the faster processor, includes uh, 256 gigabyte SSD and a 750 gigabyte uh, hard drive, plus the 3D screen and a pair of glasses, that's going to go for a little bit over 2,000 two thousand bucks. So overall. It is expensive, but uh, you're definitely getting a lot of value for, uh, for, for the money. Probably this is not going to be the most powerful uh, laptop you will be able to find in stores with the uh, Ivy Bridge and the uh, new series NVIDIA graphics. But in terms of uh, price over performances, I would say this is a very good pick. Alright, this pretty much wraps up our video review for the ASUS G75. This is right now one of the most powerful machines available on the market, brings very fast Intel Ivy Bridge processors, NVIDIA GTX 670M graphics, SSD storage, loads of RAM and overall it will be able to accomplish anything you will throw at it, from video editing to I don't know, raw uh, image editing and playing games, including the latest titles uh, played at full details on full HD native resolution. So this is a power horse. Of course, it's not the most powerful gaming laptop. There might be others, but uh, in terms of prices over features, uh, this uh, does provide an excellent ratio. Okay, that's it for now. Uh, see also the written review. There is a link in the description below. And don't forget, a thumbs up is going to help us a lot. Thank you, that was Mike with the ASUS G75 video review.